Secure Code Warrior, SQL Injections. Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. Today, we'll be looking at SQL injections. In this section, we will explain what SQL injections are, its causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what are SQL injections? SQL injections occur when an attacker is able to inject SQL queries via the input data of an application. A successful attack allows an attacker to access and manipulate the back-end database. What causes SQL injections? User input is used to dynamically build queries. If this input is not first validated, the query interpreter can be tricked into running arbitrary SQL queries or commands. To understand a SQL injection security vulnerability, let's first go through the normal authentication workflow. Let's say a user submits his credentials using POST parameters. The parameters are appended to a database query string that is submitted to the database. The credentials are valid and the appropriate record is returned to the web server. Finally, the session cookie is returned to the browser. The user is now logged in. In the next scenario, we're going to look at an example of an authentication bypass from a malicious SQL injection. Let's say an attacker submits input values that will take advantage of the query. The submitted input, like the example shown, changes the logic of the query and because of the always true condition, the password condition gets ignored. The vulnerability is exploited in order to gain control to an account without providing a valid password. The session cookie is returned to the browser and the attacker is now logged in as an administrator. Not a good scenario. SQL injections can have significant impacts. A successful injection could allow an attacker to update, insert or delete data. All data could be exposed or even deleted. Furthermore, access to the hosting system could be gained by an attacker with proper authentication processes being bypassed. As a result, any altered data such as balance and transaction information could cause repudiation issues. Account and private data theft could damage reputation and credibility, leading to customer and revenue loss. And system unavailability could result in loss of revenue and reputation. To prevent SQL injections, it is important to use parameterized queries. The example on the screen shows incorrect code that is vulnerable to SQL injections. Developers should never concatenate user-controllable input with application SQL to form the query sent to the database. Instead, use parameterized queries like this example. All popular development frameworks provide support for the secure construction of database queries. In addition, developers should use whitelist validation on all user input and always apply the least privilege principle on all back-end database users. Finally, while preventing SQL injections, it is also important to consider GET and POST parameters, cookies, and other HTTP headers. Congratulations! You have now completed this module, SQL Injections.